You think, um, so you say you talk to women in their 30s and they're older. You think they're more, obviously, they're less wild because they should have lived through their time already. You know, but should be out in the streets <laughs> at 30 years old, like, doing all this wild <laughs> shit. But um, a woman in her 30s versus somebody in her younger, in their early 20s, like, the woman in her 30s kind of is already, like, ready to commit and kind of, like, looking for somebody to settle down versus, like, a young girl wants to experience everything and, and or you think end it's up the with same. the best guy. I think when, well, with older women, they're just more direct. Like, they know what they want. Yeah. And they're just like, you know what, I don't have time to waste on this. Like, do you mm-hmm. want... What do you exactly do you want? Do you want to be in a long-term relationship? Do you want to just do something kind of just casual and just going out on a small little date? So you just want a one-night stand? But they would be a lot more direct compared yeah. to, like, the younger women who are kind of just more like, I don't know, I'm still, like... Figuring myself out. Yeah, like, you know, I'm still out exploring. Like, I'm just, like, I'm still barely in my early 20s. I have I wanted to experience all this stuff. But at the same time, I want that companionship and the intimacy without all these strings attached as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really feel like it has anything to do with age. I feel like it has to do with mentality because I've met people that they're like, for example, one of my exes, you know, like I used to tell him like, nah, I'm not going to date you because you're younger because you're like my brother's age. And he, and one day he shut me up and it was actually some really good shit. He literally told me, he's like, you know what? I've actually met people that are young that have their shit together more than some other older people, you know, because yeah. there's, there's sometimes you, you'll be seeing 30 40 year olds at the fucking club and you're like bro <laughs> shouldn't you be taking care of your kids or like you know do yeah. other things <laughs> but they're still like up in there so it's just like nah it's not about age it's about mentality it's like for, it's like what you what you do with your time you know and nowadays like i feel like people their mentality is just not right and that's and and sometimes like let's say someone's doing better than them like they're not even inspired to want to do more they they actually are intimidated and <laughs> That's true. So, let's see. I guess probably be a woman's question. <laughs> Nowadays, like, since social media gives everybody, everybody feels like they have options. Um, everybody, I think women mainly, because men is really hard. For, it's harder for men to get women. Uh, it's easier for men for women to get men. So do you think that due to social media, a lot of women are conflicted with mixing sexual attention this guy wants to sleep with you all in your dms hitting you up all the time being thirsty with this guy wants to have a relationship with me would pay my bills take care of me give me stability and and wife me up do you think a lot of women have that because of social media now because the likes and the heart buttons and the follows and the dms they they're confused the guy wants them but he wants to sleep with you he doesn't want to they're out there taking all attention as the same attention yeah um, I feel like the, the whole, so, like, I feel like nowadays everyone's kind of blaming everything on social media, and it's like, you should, like, it's like social media is just a tool, it's just an app, it's your person. And if you can't take that feedback, then that's because you're not really evaluating yourself. And for, like, women, like, you know, it's, like I said, it's not even, like, other things, it's just mentality. Like, it's like, girls nowadays, they just want to, like, you know, use guys, escalate and stuff like that guys the same way they just want to use girls you know and do all this stuff and everything like that so it's just kind of like it's what you're doing with your time how you're you're evaluating stuff how you're dealing with it that's how i feel about it i feel like everyone's just kind of like playing the blame game in this generation it's like no stop yeah. blaming you know others stop blaming other things take responsibility for your things you know like for example for me like I, I'm not gonna just you know blame all those people that I dated. Like I'm taking accountability that's and good, my but a lot power of, back. A lot of women don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> just say this guy. No, like I mm. I've come to realize that you know there's some things that you know I was you know how do I say this? There's some things that I was at fault, and at the same time, I, it is because of my past traumas. It is because of my my past, whether if it was with my family, whether if it was with my life, or whether it was in relationships. And that is why people, if you're not in a good state, don't date. Don't yeah. date. Because sometimes you bleed, like, when you're hurt, you bleed on others. Oh, and yeah, it's not sure. other people's fault, you know? It's not. But, you know, that that's why I'm at this point right now where it's just, like, I'm taking a break and I'm not really, like, I'm not looking for anything. Because what is there to look at? Like, there, this generation, there's nothing I want, you know? So, for me, I'm just, it's like, I don't like it. I don't clean dirt with dirt. And if I don't like it, you know, I can't change people, but I could change my direction and I'm going to move different. So when you're talking about this generation, like you give like a age bracket or where no, of the I'm, guys like, no, there's or you're no just age saying bracket. in the 2022? Like overall, like just overall, like 
It's just how people are acting now. Like, I don't, like, now, like, it's But funny. who mostly has that mentality? It's from this age to what age? Both. Has it? From males to females to little kids to, you know, older people. Like, it's like, now little kids, they don't even want to do their homework. It's just like, what am I going to get out of it? Are you going to give me a video game? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what you guys mm-hmm. are raising. Mm-hmm. Like, you know? Or, like, for example, like, there's there's no age. It's just, it's just how, it, how do I say this? It's like, it's overall everything. It's yeah, just, but, just tell everybody. Slow it down. I just <laughs> dissed you. It's cool. We get it. <laughs> it's the whole, it's the generation. It's just generation. I know I'm just here about saying about women. If I was supposed to just say the woman perspective, but I'm like, nah. I'm here to empower everyone. I'm not choosing sides. I am just want to let you, everyone know. Every, like you got Everyone got to stop just blaming each other. Just take your power back. Take a look at what you're doing. Take and accountability. What's yes, and look at what you're doing with your life. The people you're choosing to surround yourself. The yeah. person you're choosing to be. The people you're choosing to date. They have a lot to do with your person. That's your investment. Yeah, because it's you who are your person. You're choosing mm-hmm. the person also. They choose you, you choose them. It doesn't go, nobody's making nobody date anybody. You guys are yeah. deciding on for each other. And it is, it's, like I said, accountability with the way people are choosing. And they don't want to take fault. They blame it on the next person. Mm-hmm. So, it wasn't my fault. Yeah. It was hers. <laughs> no, yeah, nowadays, like, people literally will, like, like, break up. And they're like, oh, she was like this. Oh, she was like that. Oh, she was like that. Well, if she was this and that. Why were you with them? If she was this and that, why when you guys broke up are still going back to that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you say nowadays yeah. your your experience that you're coming across, I know, like you said, like a lot of women are just acting masculine now and just real trying to take over and just being dominant is because I see a lot more that I, I think there's more weaker and beta males that, that are around that don't know how to lead. So a woman's not going to trust you to lead, so she'll take it in her own hands to lead herself and take care of her own bills and pay her own shit. That's why... There's more like independent women because there's not enough masculine men. I think I think there's a lot, a lot of men that are just kind of fold. Like when the woman wants something or tells them to do something, it's just oh yeah okay baby. Like, they they just fold like a bunch the, of yes men. Yeah, a lot of yes dudes. Not just that, but it's just how like people are moving. Like you know, like for example, like guys. Like how do I say this? Like girls have a huge advantage over guys, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna say what it is. Girls. They could make anything happen with just their looks. Yeah, it's called right. pretty privilege. Yeah, that's what they do. That was what they born with. Exactly. Yeah. Now the guys, you, you guys don't stay behind. It. You guys do, do can make things happen, but most of the time is if you got the money. Yeah, you have to have status. You have to have, build mm-hmm. yourself up. Like, mm-hmm. You have to have it. But like only driven and ambitious guys will actually get there. The guy, say per se, like your ex, is like. Once he got to a certain spot, he was comfortable. I'm going to just stay here. It's cool. He probably elevated from where he used to be yeah. and was like, I'm up now, so I'm cool. Yeah, I'm it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a step. Instead of looking up the top step, he saw the fourth step, and uh-huh. it's better like, than what it was down there. So it's it, it's cool. I used to be back there. I'm up here now, so yeah. I'm, I'm straight. Do you, would you say, um, like, I, I know your DMs got to be like that. Like, through most of the DMs that you Probably swipe, leave on red, don't open at all. Um, do you think most of them are yes men, or do you think most of them are actually trying to take the lead and they want they want you to respond so they can tell you where they're gonna, when they're going to pick you up and where the date is going to be at? Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh-oh. With my DM, it look, with my DMs and everything, my profile and everything, I know it looks popping, but I'm going to be honest. I don't really respond back to my DMs because – Do you even like, open them or you just don't even – I don't all even open them. Oh, you want to open them. That, and then, like, I'll have people be like, damn, you have, like, 99 plus and everything <laughs> like that. And I'm like, yeah, because I only care to know about the people that I know in real life. Mm. I only care – like, the people that I follow is people that I know in real life. It's mm. not people that I don't know, mm. you know, because nowadays, like, accounts are hacked. Mm-hmm. Um like you guys said, you know, social media is just, you know, an image platform. Mm-hmm, yeah. So it's kind of like some celebrities, they start that they have this and that, but half the time they don't even got any of that. Yeah. It's all sponsored. I mean, it happens nowadays. Like, man, <laughs> sure. it happens all the time. Last few years, like, celebrities are talking about they have this much, like, money, and a lot of people getting caught on regular, taking regular coach flights mm-hmm. and they're not yeah. on private planes like this was. You look at Bow Wow. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's a whole trend. It was like, uh-huh. you know, when you're. When you're uh-huh. faking this whole yeah, place, yeah, yeah. You know, and then they'll, they'll 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 post like a, a hundred thousand dollar chain, get hit with that diamond tester in his glass. How mm-hmm. the time is not even theirs? It's like they let them borrow it. They rented it from the jeweler, yeah. like yeah. Yeah, rent a center man. <laughs> <laughs> that's where they're shopping. Uh, that's, what, that's what works for them. 